So for this lab, you're gonna need two of these 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks. You're gonna need a fan, your iPad, thermal camera, and just a towel. You'll need a towel to set your flasks on eventually. Okay, so the very first thing you wanna do for the procedure of this lab is to fill up both of your 250 milliliter flasks with about 200 milliliters of cold tap water. So 200 milliliters cold water in both of these flasks. And then I'm just gonna set them down on the towel here. Make sure you wanna wipe off all of the excess moisture that might have spilled onto the flask as I was filling them up. That's really important because that could really throw off your data when you're using the thermal camera to take your pictures for this lab. So set your towel down. You're going to want to set your towel down. And then I'm going to place my flasks right here for now. Okay, so I've got both my cold water flasks sitting out here. The next thing I'm going to do, plug in your Fleur 1 camera. Go to the Fleur 1 app. Once it connects, all you're going to do is calibrate. Make sure to calibrate. And then you're going to take your initial picture. So take a picture of both of these flasks. That'll be your initial picture. Uh, and you're going to use that to write down the values for the starting temperature of each of your flasks. Okay, so I got my initial picture taken for the two cold water flasks. Now what I'm gonna do is totally remove one of these flasks. So pick one as long as you remember which one you did. I'm gonna move it off to the side, way off to the side of the influence of the fan. I'm gonna center my flask that I'm actually gonna run under the fan. Tilt the fan down so that it's facing the flask and then I'm gonna run it on high. So you're running the fan on high for about 10 minutes here. Running the fan on high for about 10 minutes. And then we'll come back and that's when we'll take our final set of pictures for the cold water experiment here. So my fan's been running here for 10 minutes now. What I'm gonna do is turn off the fan. I'm gonna move the one that wasn't under the fan back right next to the one that was under the fan. Make sure not to touch anywhere but the top here because that might throw off your thermal data. So I remember now this was the one under the fan and this was the one that was away from the fan. And all I'm going to do now is find both my flasks. I'm going to calibrate. And then I'll take a final picture. So for part one, all you need is two pictures. You need your initial picture and then the final picture after the um, flask was running under the fan for 10 minutes. So now we'll move on to part two. For part two, we're gonna be using hot water. And just a note about our tap water. Our tap water does not like to run hot unless you run it for a little bit. So, oh, I don't like wasting water, but let the water run for just a little bit before you start filling up your flasks. So this should be good now. My hot water's been running for about 15 seconds. That's pretty close. So you're gonna fill both flasks up with hot water. I've got two flasks now. I'm filled with 200 milliliters of hot water here. I'll set those both down. So kind of same setup as the first trial here, but now we're using hot water. So I've got my two flasks of hot water. It's going a lot hotter than the cold one, obviously. You can see that in the thermal image. Make sure to calibrate. And then we're gonna take an initial image here. So I got my initial image taken. Same idea as trial one. I'm gonna remove one of the hot water flasks. Totally remove it from the influence of the fan. Adjust my fan so that it's facing the hot water flask that I'm going to be running under the fan. 
and I'll turn it on high. We're gonna run this for 10 minutes as well. So after 10 minutes, we'll come back and take our final picture. So after 10 minutes, again, I'm gonna turn off my fan, fans off. I'm gonna move the hot water that wasn't under the fan back. So this is my hot water not under the fan, hot water under the fan. And again here. I'm gonna view it in my floor one, calibrate, and then I'm gonna take my final picture. So you should have four pictures, a cold water before and after and a hot water before and after. And those are all you're gonna need to finish the lab write up. So if I go into my screenshot setting, for example, this was my final picture for the hot water. Go into the edit and you can actually find the individual temperatures here. So again, right here would be the water level. Make sure you're not taking your sensor data up here. You're gonna want it down here, right under the water level which might be more clear on your own iPad when you're doing this experiment. But you're gonna go through the lab sheet and find your um, temperatures for both the flask under the fan and the flask that wasn't under the fan for all four of your pictures. And that's the data table that you're gonna fill out in your lab sheet here. So your four Fleur One camera pictures are all you need um, to fill out that data sheet and then subsequently answer the rest of the questions in the lab. Make sure to clean off your table when you're all done. Oh wow, that barely took any time to clean up at all. Thanks, Professor Rex and Baby Groot. Again, let me know if you have any questions filling out the rest of that data sheet. This was our wind chill lab.